Well, welcome everybody. Welcome to Wesico High School. Happy to see so many of you out here and happy to see our uh, track and field Lady Panther team out here. Way to go, ladies. Thank you for being here. Uh, Want to start off by uh, just congratulating our Lady Panther track and field team. Uh, we're super, super excited. Uh, Thursday, we have our, I always get them mixed up. Is it area or area? So we have our area meet coming up and we have a lot of girls competing. So we're very excited about that. So round of applause for our Lady Track and Team Field and good luck. But today's a special day for Miss Eleanor and her family. But before we get started, we have our pastor from First Baptist Church, Westlaco, Pastor Joe Aguilar, who's gonna open up today's signing with a prayer. So uh, Pastor Joe. Well, over the last several years, I've had the great pleasure of getting to know Eleanor and of course the rest of the track team. And a couple of things aside from Eleanor's dominance on the track that I've gotten to notice in Eleanor are two great traits. One. She's a great leader, and two, she has great faith. And the leadership quality really came to the top last year when I actually shared this verse with the track team, and it's where Paul says this. He says, imitate me as I imitate Christ. And as I shared with the young ladies about imitation and how we imitate our favorite athletes and how we want to be like them, I asked some of the girls, who is your athlete that you would like to be most like? And a lot of them said, Eleanor and it just goes to show how great of a leader she is and again those two great traits that she has one as a great leader and two as her faith those are really going to be great traits that are going to transfer over into this next chapter of her life as she begins a collegiate career in track and field at UTRGV so let's let us pray together and ask God's blessing upon Eleanor the Arndt family and her next chapter Heavenly Father we just come before you this afternoon thanking you for all that you have done. Father, we thank you that Eleanor has displayed her faith in you everywhere she goes. And it's evidence that that is contagious because we see all of the rest of the track team looking up towards her. And we're so grateful and thankful that she not only shines on the track, but she also shines off as well because she is your daughter. She is a princess. She is a, the daughter of the one high king. And Father, we just ask that you continue to bless Eleanor and bless the rest of the Arndt family as they continue to walk with her, with her through this next chapter of her life. And we also want to just continue to pray for our administration and coaching staff here in Westlake who has done such a great job breathing leadership and breathing great traits that are going to transfer into the next chapter of her life. And again, we just thank you for all things. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, Ms. Eleanor, uh, we're super excited for you. Uh, the, I only have one regret that you're graduating. So I've, I've been to many track and field meets and uh, I've never, for whatever reason, I've never sat next to Eleanor's mom. And I got to sit next to Eleanor's mom at the last district meet. It was the most exciting track meet ever, like her energy. And uh, there was races where it wasn't even Eleanor, but she was still jumping up and down with our boys, with Harlingen. Like she knew everybody out there. So that's my only regret. I'm thinking I would have learned so much more about track if I would have sat next to her at all the meets instead of being on the field or behind the scenes somewhere else. So it was exciting. It was very, very exciting. Congratulations to mom and dad. Uh, thank you for your commitment. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for letting us be a part of Eleanor's uh, career here at Westlake High School. We're all extremely proud of her academically. Uh, this is uh, UTRGV. It's part of the UT uh, system. This isn't uh, a school that you can just say, you know what, we're going to let you in. It's open enrollment. Academically, she had to be on top of her class to be accepted first and foremost. And then uh, athletically, uh, I was there also. I was there Thursday when the UTRGV coach came and tapped mom on the shoulder. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is about to happen. What's going on? So it's been, it's been a special ride. So thank you, mom and dad, uh, for letting us be part of this. And so round of applause for mom and dad. And then it continues because now we have Miss Emma over there at the end. So we look forward to having Emma here and 
uh, when Emma finished fourth in one of the races, and I know I should know, but I don't know, but I know mom knows, when she finished fourth at the race, I, I, I had never seen anybody as excited before. You would have thought that uh, mom won the lottery, but I was, I was cheering on too. So it was really neat seeing both of the girls in the platform side by side. So uh, Miss Emma, uh, thank you for always being there for your sister, and we look forward to the rest of your career here at West Lego High School. At this time, I'd like to introduce to you our uh, head track coach, uh, our Lady Panther head track coach, Mr. Pablo Almaguer. He'll share a few words and then uh, we'll pass it over to our athletic coordinator, uh, Coach Salinas. And then we also have uh, from central office, we have our uh, athletic assistant uh, director, uh, Mr. Oh, Cantu, I went blank. I wanted to say Mrs. Uh, Mr. Canales because I'm thinking about our superintendent. Our superintendent couldn't be here today. Uh, I'm actually supposed to be with her at a meeting at 2.30, so uh, I, that's why she couldn't be here, but she expresses her congratulations also. Let me introduce to you all, he doesn't need an introduction, does he? Coach Pablo Alvaguer. Coach. Uh, thank you, Ms. Morales. Uh, first and foremost, I just want to thank all you guys who came out here today uh, to support Eleanor. Uh, it's a big, uh, it's a special moment uh, for me and our, our track staff and of course just WHS in general. Um, you know, this is what we want to get to at the end of, of their career and this is, it's not easy for somebody to do this and, and, and be able to compete at the next level. It is Division I uh, and, and just everything that she's getting is just a blessing for us. Uh, so I'm just, I'm just real proud of her. Uh, Eleanor's been a part of, as you can see, five district titles for WHS, four in track, one in cross country. Uh, the work that she puts in, uh, not just in the classroom, but on the field and everything, has just been, I mean, uh, something as a coach we all want, you know. Uh, when you're, we're building a program, these are the kind of athletes we want to start with, you know. And, and it's been a blessing for us, for our track program, to have the athletes that have come into our program. But just especially Eleanor, uh, uh, she's done five events for us in track and field since her freshman year, qualified to the state meet. Uh, she's on two relays that are all-time Valley's best that stood for years uh, before they broke them, uh, which is the 4 by 100 and the 4 by, I mean, uh, 4 by 200 and the 4 by 400 relays. Uh, and, and just to be a part of that, uh, she's really etched her name in, 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 in school history, uh, owns the, the, the 400 meter record in, in, for, our, for the, our school and the long jump. Uh, uh, she has a school record for there. Uh, doing very well. Uh, she has a chance right now. Uh, to, to qualify for area, I mean for regionals and off, off the state meet. So we're just real proud of our accom accomplishments. Uh, thank the parents uh, for all the support that you've given uh, this program. It's not easy uh, to come in every day at six in the morning uh, for the most part and then just work year round and do that for four years this is all she did. Uh, so I'm real proud of her, uh, uh, just proud of all her accomplishments and, and we look forward to the next few weeks uh, here as we get ready for uh, area regionals and uh, hopefully the state meet. Uh, but uh, just proud of you, Eleanor. Thanks for everything you've done. And uh, uh, just proud of you for being part of this program with all these girls. And uh, we're just appreciative of you. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. I just want to say a few words. Uh, uh, first and foremost, it's a, it's a special day for Eleanor and her family today. Uh, every student athlete aspires to have the opportunity to compete at the next level. Uh, fortunately for her and her family, she's done what, what was required to this point uh, to get the necessary outcome. So she's put in some work uh, to accomplish the things she has to this point. Um, the opportunity that she has in front of her is a direct byproduct of her work ethic. I firmly believe that. I've only been here a little over a year, about 13 months now, and uh, unless she's fooled me, the two things that I think that I've uh, uh, evaluated and got from Eleanor is that she has an unmatched work, work ethic and she's a fierce competitor. Uh, from watching her at the district meet, having to uh, uh, respond in the triple jump and, and do some things that she's done in the short time that I've been here, I think those are two qualities that are gonna help you continue to be successful, not only in your track career, but in your life. Uh, so uh, what she's done is continue to, to meet the standard that Coach uh, A has set for our girls track and field program. Uh, another athlete that's going to compete at the next level for WHS. So there's a lot of folks that take pride in what, what you're doing today. There's a lot of people um, that feel like they have a hand in what you did, and you made a lot of folks proud today. To mom and dad, uh, hats off to you guys for the job that you've done. Uh, she's a, a, a fierce competitor on, on the track, 
and she's done that, uh, but she's also been a really, really solid student, which has allowed her the opportunities she has today. So uh, we wish you continued success uh, on the next chapter, but no, you're not done here yet, right? Uh, we got Thursday and, and, and regionals and hopefully the state meet. Uh, I think uh, congratulations to all of our girls track and field program. And then uh, I think uh, the showing today uh, speaks volumes of the young lady that you are. So we wish you nothing but success. And uh, my advice is that you continue to keep God first in your life and do the things that have got you to this point. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, Eleanor and the Art family, uh, first of all, congratulations uh, from the whole athletic department, from Dr. Canales. Um, you know, I've been here for about a little over a year and a half, and I've been honored and privileged to see you for the last two track seasons. And like Coach said, it's not over. But one thing I can tell you is her work ethic is phenomenal. You know, um, UTRGV is not only getting a phenomenal student athlete, but a great person and academically superior. So again, congratulations. Um, good thing is that UTRGV is close to home. And remember that WHS, WISD, is your, it's always going to be family. And uh, now you're going to be wearing orange, but you're going to bleed purple. So again, congratulations. Okay, and then uh, what we're going to do at this time, we're going to see if either Mr. or Mrs. Art, if you all would like to share something with our guests or if you would like to say something to Eleanor. Would one of you all want to go first, Miss, Mr.? No? No? You'll go? Here you go. <laughs> uh, Eleanor, thanks. <laughs> Everybody else knows how I feel about it. Yeah, Eleanor. Um, You've been amazing, daughter. We've loved you, and you're amazing. And, and everything you do is, is just uh, up here. So you don't have to cry. <laughs> um, thank you, all the teachers in the district. We love being part of Westlaco. Um, all the coaches who have helped her over the years, summer track coaches, and that includes everybody across the district at Cuellar and East and, and Central. Central Middle School coaches for really pushing her when she was in middle school and bringing her to Coach A, who's just been amazing. Um, I know Lily, Coach Lily couldn't make it today, but we thank Lily for all the all that she's done with um, Coach and Eleanor and her jumps, and Coach Billy and Coach Cindy and Coach Jaime for always being there and supporting her. Um, uh, thank you, all the counselors. Thank you um, for helping her and, and getting her ready for college and all our teachers. And I appreciate all the teachers who are here, um, all of our friends and family that are here. My mom, who went to almost every track meet. We appreciate that so much. <laughs> and our friends and her, her teammates. I just love you guys. <laughs> Thank you for always being there and cheering her on. And, you know, even if you weren't running or throwing, you were still there. And we really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, uh, well, I had a bet with him before this started that I wasn't going to cry, so I already <laughs> lost. Um, so I wrote some stuff. Um, first off, I want to start by thanking my coaches, Coach Lily, who couldn't be here, but um, she's been with me through all my, my jumping career, and she's, of course, always there for my running career. Um, Coach A, you've become such a big part of my life, and um, Coach Billy... And go time it. Okay, one second. <laughs> and um, I don't know if she's here, but Rose, <laughs> um, you've always been such a great friend to me, and you've always been there for all of us. Um, I want to thank my parents for always finding a way to help me, and for being the loudest people in the stands. <laughs> Um, I want to thank my teammates, all the ones who are still competing with me, and all the ones who have graduated. I wish Stephanie could be here today, but she's not. She's the biggest supporter that I have, and you guys have all contributed to making me a better athlete and a better person, and I will always cherish the memories that we have made. And lastly, I want to thank God for giving me this amazing opportunity. I love this sport so much, and 
fact that I have an opportunity to do it for another four years is an amazing blessing. Thank you. All right. Super special, super sweet. Okay, at this time, Eleanor, you're gonna go ahead and sign your letter of intent. I'm gonna ask the, our coaches and Pastor Joe, and uh, your counselor is here, Mrs. Uh, Virial. Ms. Virial, you wanna come join us, please, so we can all be a witness of this special occasion. And all of y'all get to be a witness of this. So at this time, Eleanor, go ahead. This is the actual signing. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, there you go. Congratulations. <laughs> Hold on, she's dating it, so there we go. We got it. Okay. Big round of applause for Miss Eleanor. So again, Eleanor, congratulations from all the students, the staff, Dr. Canales, our school board members, from each and every one of us here in the community of Westlaco. We're extremely proud of you and we wish you the best. And we can't wait to see you run because you're just like about 25 miles away. So that is super awesome. Thank you, Eleanor. Thank you. I've been very passionate about this sport. I've been doing it for many years now. I've met so many amazing people. I've made so many uh, memories, but most importantly, I think it's really uh, sh like shaped who I am as a person. I'm more hardworking. I feel more, I have more perseverance through hard times, and it's really transitioned into my schoolwork and um, other things in my life and my faith. As a track coach, I mean, we look forward to these moments. I mean, this is what what I feel is my true passion is to try to get kids to the next level. Uh, it doesn't always happen that way, so it is a big blessing for us. Uh, uh, not many kids can say they, they run Division One track and field at the next level. And so it's just a blessing for me, uh, for our, our community, uh, to have those types of kids and, and to know all the hard work that we put in was never for nothing. Well, it's a big opportunity and it's a big weight off of my, soldier, my shoulders and um, your parents' shoulders. It's like a big deal to have your child's education paid for and that's a big uh, factor when I was deciding which school to go to, the offer and how much money I was going to get and I feel like very relieved and very happy with my decision.